Good morning, guys. All right, make sure that you have your materials, okay? Today, you need some either cupcake liners or some pieces of paper into squares. You need a bag of some change, just some loose change. My little bag has a little bunny on it. And you need a muffin tin or a cupcake pan, okay? Okay, now remember, it doesn't matter what size it is. If it's smaller or bigger than mine, it doesn't matter, okay? You need that. And then a marker will work best, but if you have a crayon or a pencil um, or a color pencil, whatever, okay? All right, so if you don't have those things, push pause and go get those things because you're going to need them for today's lesson, okay? Especially the bag of money. That's very important, okay? All right. Let's start with a little review from yesterday. We talked about counting by fives and counting by tens and counting by ones and combining those. Let's do one of those together, okay? Let's count by tens first. Okay, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. What comes after 50? 60. All right, stop right there. Let's count by fives. 60. Five, seventy, seventy-five. What comes next? Eighty, eighty-five. Stop right there. Let's count by ones. Eighty. What? We're counting by ones, and we're at eighty-five. What comes next? Eighty-five, eighty-six, eighty-seven, eighty-eight, eighty-nine. 90. Good job. Okay, let's practice writing those numbers one more time before we get started with our game, okay? All right, so this morning I have $3.72. Okay, what do I start with? What's my symbol? Does my symbol look like this? No, because I have dollars. My symbol looks like this. So start with our symbol. Now I don't remember how much money I had. 72 cents. I think it's three dollars. Okay. Three dollars. What is this called? Who remembers from yesterday? My decimal. Okay. My divider between my dollars and my change. Okay. The, you always have to have a separator. Okay. And 72. Now do I need to draw this symbol at the end? No. This symbol is enough, and this divider shows that that's change, okay? So you don't have to draw that. The only time you have to draw that symbol is if you have no dollars, okay? You can also show, and this is something I should have showed you yesterday, you can also show that you have no dollars by putting a zero there and then putting your change, okay? So you can do that either way, okay? This shows that I have 72 cents, and this shows I have 72 cents, okay? So you only use one symbol, either this one or this one. You never use them both together, ever, 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 okay? All right, let's do another one. Let's do $5.20. Start with our dollar sign. $5, and what's that called again? My decimal. And 20 cents. Now, how will I show if I only had 20 cents? If I spent that $5 and I only have 20 cents now, how do I show that? 20 cents. Now, let's see if you can write it the other way. Can you write it like this? Dollar sign. Zero dollars. There's my decimal. 20 cents. Good job. All right, let's get started with our game. All right, so you take one of your cupcake things or your squares, whichever one you work with. I'm going to work with these, okay? And you're going to take your writing utensil and you're going to write an amount in there, okay? We're not dealing with dollars yet. We're only going to deal with change. So maybe in this one, I might put 35 cent, just like that. Okay, 35 cent, and then I'm going to stick it inside of one of my holes, okay? 
Then I'm going to take another one. You have to kind of look at what you've used. You don't want to use the same ones, okay? Maybe this one I'll draw 71 cent. 71 cent. I'm going to stick it in there, okay? Let's do another one. Let's do 20. Five cent. Do that cent sign. Twenty five cent. Okay. And if I'm going too fast, you can always push pause. Okay. All right. The next one. I'm gonna do. Hmm. I'm gonna do sixty cent. And it's kind of hard to write in here. My handwriting is not the best inside of one of these cupcake things. 60 cent. Okay. Alright. Now I'm going to do, um, let's do 80 cent. 80 cent. Okay. One more. Let's do 27 cent. All right, I'm gonna stop right there. I did six in case you did a six um, cupcake thing, okay? But I don't have a six one, I only have a 12 one. So here's what I have, okay? So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna set that in front of you and you're gonna get your bag of change, okay? And you don't wanna know what Miss Parker did. Miss Parker went out to the vehicle and my husband is all the time buying a drink or something from the gas station and putting the change in his console of his truck. So I went and took the change out of his truck so we would have some for this morning. So take your little bag of change and then pick which one you want to do first. I'm going to pick 25 cent, okay? So I could always use, what you're trying to do is you're going to try to make that amount inside of there, okay? So 25 cent. I could always just use a quarter. That's 25 cent. And I can be done with that one. But I'm going to try to make it a little harder. So, what could I use to make 25 cent? What could I use? Could I use a dime? Okay, there's 10. Another dime. What does that make? That was 10, and this one's 10 too. So, 10, 20. Now, you see why we did that skip counting, don't you? Okay, I have 20 cent, and I need 25. Which coin is worth five? Is it this one? Is it this one? Yeah, a nickel. So I have 10, 20, 25. And that's what it says. So I'm going to put that amount inside of my little cup and move on to the next one, okay? So do you see what we're doing? Okay, this one says 35. Hmm, I could use this guy. How much is this guy? 25. So inside of 25, there's five fives, okay? Count with me. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, okay? So if you ever have a bunch of these and it's hard for you to remember that four of them make a dollar, that's kind of hard to remember, or three of them make 75 cent, you can remember that there's five fives inside of this one, okay? So 25. Um, let's see what I have else. I'm trying to make 35 cent. 25. What if I add 10 to that? 25 and 10 is what? Hmm, let's count up. Let's do our skip counting. So I went to 25 and I add 10 more. 35, that's what I needed. So 35, I have 25 and a 10. That makes 35, okay? The next one, 60 cent. All right, hmm. What does two quarters equal? If this one's 25 and this one's 25, what do they equal together? Well, remember what I told you. There's five fives in each of these, okay? So let's start with this one. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. <sighs> Grab my other one. What comes after 25 when I'm counting by fives? 30, 35, 40, 45, 
50. That's something that you need to put in your brain and remember so that you don't have to count by fives every time. That two quarters equal 50 cent, okay? 25, 50, okay? I'm trying to get to 60 and I'm at 50. What coin do I add? Do I add some pennies this time? Okay, so I have 60 and I'm going up by ones now. 60, one, 60, two, 60, three, 60, four, 60, five. Uh-oh, I messed up. I don't have 65, I have 50, 51. Who called that? Did y'all catch me making a boo-boo? Oh my goodness, it's too early. It's too early. All right, 51, 50, Two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven. 54, 55, 56, 57, I need some more. You could have used a dime instead of all those pennies, but it doesn't matter. That's the point of this game, is to see how many ways you can make that number, okay? I want you to finish out with the other three that we did, okay? And when you're finished, if you still have some cupcake liners, or if you still have some little squares of paper, I want you to see how many ways you can make the same number, okay? So you might see if you can fill in three circles with 25 cent. Or you might see if you can fill in two circles with 71 cent, okay? See if you can make it two different ways or more today, okay? All right, guys, I will see you tomorrow. I hope you have a great evening. Oh, I almost forgot. Tomorrow, you need something round, either a bowl or a hula hoop, or a ring. Maybe you have some diving rings at home. Or if you have none of those things, you can um, just like make a line with pillows in the floor so that you have kind of like a barricade or a wall, okay? You can use any of those things and you're still gonna need that bag of change. We're gonna be working with that bag of change tomorrow as well, okay? All right, guys, have a great evening. Make sure you work on your muffin pan. Bye.